Having an operational spacecraft in Mars orbit, the Mars Express mission, and working on further missions to the Red Planet, ESA is particularly welcome this year's motto, Exploring Mars, Discovering Earth. ESA, like all the other organizations, the Australian Space Forum, the World Space Week, is happy to inspire you to do your own exploration, to follow the path of the astronaut maybe one day to Mars. And for this, I wish you a lot of success and many good experiences during this week. Uh, we are going for the mission. We are happy to be the part of the project. Yes, uh, I'm uh, Carsten from the Bottom Science and our team is Go. Uh, Puli is calling from Budapest. Uh, we are ready to go for the World Space Week. Hello everybody. Uh, the Raman instrument for ExoMars and Cap Inta is Go too. Hello, Michael from Hi Hyperion team here. The uh, Hyperion team is Go, thank you. I'm going to the Mars Desert Research Station, which is shortly after 4 o'clock in the morning. Hartina uh, Bogasanova, I'm requesting your go, no go for the World Space Week. Like she said, my name is Josh. Um, this is Maverick. Uh, Maverick stands for Mars Analog Vehicle for Robotic Inspection Construction. Uh, the project is uh, designed to compete in the University Rover Challenge every summer. That's held in Hanksville, Utah. Uh, we uh, started this project uh, last fall, so we've been putting a lot of hours in. Um, as you can see, it's uh, driving. It's ready to go. It's So I'm Alejandro Gadala, I'm a PhD student at an associated unit between the University of Valladolid in Spain and the uh, CSIC. So what, are, what we are doing here at this associated unit is to, well among other projects, is to develop the science which uh, the development of the Raman laser spectrometer instrument that will go to Mars in the 2018 with the ExoMars mission needs. Inside here we want to recreate the environmental conditions, pressure, temperature and gas composition that we will have inside the ExoMars rover. So the ExoMars mission is the first mission from the European Space Agency that will land on a planet and will search for life in the third dimension. So. Uh, until now, we have had in the surface of Mars the well-known rover's um, opportunity, uh, Spirit, and now Curiosity. They are all looking for signs of water, for signs of habitability, 
and some signs of life, of past or present life, but we will be doing it in a third dimension, depth dimension. Hello everyone, my name is Michael, I'm uh, the head of the Hyperion team and I would like to show a few facilities of our rover. Uh, you can see on the third person camera the Hyperion rover. Uh, there is also a camera from the inside of our rover, so I will come closer and show you a bit around. Okay, so this is the Hyperion rover. Uh, this year it competed uh, competed in a university rover range in uh, Utah desert. Uh, this rover won this competition. Uh, as you can see, it has articulated manipulator uh, with rubber, so we can grab things, move things, and rotate them. Okay, can you see the white rock uh, from the camera on the rover? We'll try to grab it and uh, get to the bottom. Welcome to World Spacewalk 2013. I'm calling from the Mission Control Center in Innsbruck and I'm handing my microphone over to Gernot Grummer. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and good afternoon on four different places on this uh, very Earth. This is the first time that we're switching together four teams who are working on uh, uh, analog spacesuits for many years now um, and have developing, been developing really, really great hardware. And this is uh, actually a first timer that we're getting together, at least virtually, and emulate uh, three extra vehicle activities which is simultaneously happening on Mars, uh, as this is the World Space Week's topic also for this year, and two stations monitoring it. On the one side, from COMEX, the hyperbaric chamber, in France, uh, we will introduce them uh, right afterwards, and here at the Mission Control Center of the World Space Week. This is Mars Desert Research Station, and we are World Space Week analog expedition to the Mars Desert Research Station for 2013. We have been stationed here in the desert of Utah doing analog research for Mars expeditions for the past four days in a special mission that is has been assembled for the World Space Week. We have analog spacesuits that we use for our research purposes and you can see two of our analog astronauts walking now towards the place of start. Hello, I'm here in wonderful Innsbruck. Uh, this is our suit, Auda X. Um, Luca is just getting warm. His safety is right next. Yeah, okay at the University of North Dakota. Um, here with me is Tiffany Swarmer, who will be our test subject today. She is uh, done in the NDX2, so uh, we are ready to start testing. Hi, this is Comex in Marseille, in southern France. Uh, we, uh, we are using this uh, spacesuit here, this training spacesuit for underwater simulation, uh, which is called Gunnolfi. So actually we will not participate directly in the EVA uh, today because uh, we need to work on the water with the space suit. But uh, we, will, we will join the, the event from inside the, uh, our harbor team, which you see right behind me here. Uh, but we might show you a short video of how Gandalf, Gandalf works like. 
so underwater, what we can't do today, but normally it looks like that. So maybe for the next uh, space, World Space Week, we can we can join directly from underwater.